like literally screamed in the background of my video. I did? <laughs> yeah, when you, you were down. Talking about this? I'm so <laughs> sorry. I should have just yelled to me, man. I'm sorry. You could have, but it would have interrupted my video anyway, so I would have been in the same okay, spot. I'm quiet now. Oh. All right, looks like I'll be doing this at a later date. And. Shh. She's filming now. Welcome back to a, another styling video. Um, I know, 2021, I changed things up with my first video and I did not do a styling video. How rude. I wanted to change things up. I wanted to give you variety. I wanted to show you that I'm not just a one trick pony. So anyways, we're back to what I'm, what I'm good at here. We're back to styling videos. And today I wanted to focus on coats again, but we're gonna be doing pea coats this time around. I actually had a lot of requests from you guys to cover our pea coats because I do know Aritzia coats in true Aritzia fashion do fit quite differently depending on the style. For example, the coat I am currently wearing, the slouch coat, it is an oversized fit. So I'm gonna go through each detail of each coat just so that that way you have an idea of how it fits, if it fits bigger, if it fits smaller. And I'm also gonna go through some of the benefits of each coat and the quality and the details. So then that way, even if you have to order from the comfort of your own home, you know exactly what's gonna be showing up. You kind of have an idea of what the quality is gonna be like and the material, and if you're sensitive, it's gonna be itchy, all that kind of jazz. So without further ado, stay locked in here, sisters. Get your popcorn. Uh, Cause yeah, we're gonna be going through Picos, so. So we're gonna start off with my favorite coat, which is the cocoon coat. I also have a little buddy with me here today, so if I veer off and I'm looking down, that is because Lily has joined me, my sweet kitty. So we're gonna be starting off with the cocoon coat, which is one of Aritzia's most popular coats. It is one of our core pieces. It has been around probably for the past like five years, six years. This coat is one of my favorites. So it actually comes in two different lengths. It comes in a medium length and it comes in a longer length, which actually isn't too long. It hits, I'm 5'5", five five, and it hits me like my mid calf. I love the cocoon. It's one of those coats that really can dress up an outfit or really pull together an outfit just because it's really nice in structure, but at the same time, it's very simple. Uh, so you're not gonna have like a ton of busyness around it. But yeah, you can wear the lapel up or you can wear it down. I personally keep my lapel up because over time, after you own the jacket for a few years, it naturally is gonna fall. Um, so yeah, I've just been enjoying my coat with the lapel up as long as I possibly can because I know one day it's gonna come and the lapel is gonna fall. Other than that, it is 100% wool. It does have a really nice uh, lining on the inside so it will protect you from the wind. Um, and because it's 100% wool, it is quite warm. So that was the one thing I was concerned about. I'm like, oh, Winnipeg, am I gonna be able to wear a wool coat? 100% you can wear a wool coat. Definitely layered, but once it's layered, it's perfect. But yeah, I have both the short and I have the long version of the coat. Um, I really loved this coat when I was in car sales or in more of like a professional environment just because it went really, really well with a lot of my like professional attire. But then at the same time, if I wanted to run to the grocery store in my sweatsuit, I could still throw it over top and you still look cute and put together. One thing about these coats, they will last you a lifetime. I personally dry clean mine at the very end of the season before I pack it up. And then yeah, the next year when I whip it out, it's like brand new, all nice, all put together. Other than that, what was I gonna say? Oh, the one thing that you, I will find about the cocoon, it does fit fairly true to size. One thing to keep in mind because the buttons are hidden, if you are someone with a bigger chest, it is gonna be pretty snug around the chest. So if you do find that there's like any pulling or let's say for example, you can kind of see the button or see it lifting, that's okay, that's normal. Um, I do find in store you see that quite often that people are like, oh, I can kind of peek the button. That's okay, that's normal. That's the reason that Aritzi actually hit the buttons the way that they did. So then that way, if there was any pulling, it's not gonna be as obvious as if you had like a jacket like mine, for example, where you can like put it over top and you see the button holding on. I'm gonna stand up so you can show you. But yeah, cause basically if it pulls, you're gonna notice that pulling. Whereas on the cocoon, if you've got a bigger chest and it's pulling, that's okay or not, it's not gonna be as obvious. Another thing that I wanted to mention is there is a little pocket on the inside. Every single one of Aritzia's pea coats do have pockets and they 
on the inside and on the outside. I know that does confuse a lot of people because they are sewn shut to maintain the structure of the coat before someone purchases it. But there's technically three pockets on every single one of Aritzia's coats. So you'll have the two, you'll just have to open up the ones on the side. Then you're also gonna have an interior pocket where you can put like keys, you can put your phone, whatever, your wallet on the cocoon. There's one on the left breast side. If again, you do have a bigger chest and it pulls against it, you will see that line. Typically you can kind of like steam that out and over time you're not gonna notice it. Stuff that is completely normal when you are purchasing that coat. Moving on. So the next coat that I wanna move on to is actually gonna be the coat I am personally wearing at the moment, which is called the slouch coat. This is by far the biggest staff favorite of this year. I would say ev almost every single person, at least at the Winnipeg store, owns this coat at this point. And if they don't, they're like lining up to get it for either this year or next year. I personally, it comes in two materials. So I personally am wearing the one that is a wool camel hair uh, blend, which I love just cause it's a little bit of like a softer structure. So if you see it when it like bends, it's just not as like structured. It's not as starchy. It's like just a little bit of a softer coat. Kind of has like this little fuzzy look to it. And one thing I love about the coat is if you looked at the slouch in years past, they have changed the design of the coat each year. So this year I have been finding it's a lot more narrow in comparison to last year's version. They make them in a one, two, three this year versus, versus a double extra small all the way up to an extra large. I personally am wearing a size two in this coat because I'm quite tall. So when I tried on the size one, the size one realistically would fit me on my shoulders, but because I'm taller, my arms were a little bit longer. So when I actually reached out, like even now it's like quite short, it shortens. That's okay, that's what coats are gonna do. Uh, but I found in the one, it was just, it went a little too short for my liking. And the two is a little bit longer. So I find I just really wanted more of that like oversized, kind of getting swallowed by the coat kind of look. But I have been finding most people who are wearing like extra small, smalls, and if you are a little bit on the taller side, they are liking the size two more over the size one. Just cause again, the size one is quite narrow. That is a slouch. Um, other than that, like I said, it does come in that other material, a lot more structured, a lot more starchy. It's beautiful though. I personally love the green color it comes in in that material. It's just so beautiful. I wanted to say this coat, it, out of all of our long coats is definitely one of the longest. So even on me, this coat comes down to like my, like closer to my ankle. It almost hits my ankle. It's like just above the little like um, ankle bone. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind if you are looking at the slouch, it is a very long coat. If you are short, for sure you can do it, but just keep in mind that it is gonna be a long coat. It's probably gonna come down to your ankles, if not like hit close to your shoe, but that is the look. It's cute, it's stylish, it's oversized, it's baggy, it's very New York. So when in doubt, you are not too short, you'll rock it anyways. And they're quite warm. I actually was out today and it was minus 20. Um, and with a scarf, if I had a hat on realistically, I would have been fine. This coat is like just unbelievably warm, uh, but I'm not surprised when it, you look at the material it's made out of. So the next coat that I'm trying here is called the Steadman. So this is a really great coat if you like the styling of the slouch, but you find it just a little bit too oversized, a little bit too long for you. This guy, instead of being double-breasted like the slouch was, so the double-breasted is obviously having the two buttons here versus the one. The Steadman just has the one, so it's a little bit more simplified. It's a, quite a bit shorter. And yeah, it's got a little bit more structure to it. So especially if you don't like how the fact like the slouch doesn't have any defined arms, whereas the Steadman does have like more of a structured arm. So if you don't have big shoulders, actually would be a really great coat to kind of give you that little bit of that structure there. It's also a little bit of a looser fit. So one thing that you'll find is you might potentially size up in the cocoon coat, but you're probably gonna wanna size down in the Steadman just because again, it is an oversized fit, unless you're someone who wears their clothes quite oversized already. And I always say to clients, whenever we're like kind of trying between sizes, you're gonna wanna buy a coat that will fit in with the way you already wear your clothes. Um, so for example, if you're someone who wears stuff a lot more fitted, like, you know, like I like my sweaters a little bit more fitted, a little bit tighter. I don't like them too loose and oversized. Well, I would potentially look at sizing down. If you're someone who's like, no, I always go bigger. I'm like an extra small, but I always wear a size three. Well, yeah, go the bigger size then or go your true size then. But yes, anyway, so love the Steadman. It's a really great coat, goes with so many different things. That's one thing that I find about this coat in comparison to all of Aritzia's coats. It's probably our most versatile piece. Okay, sorry, there was an interruption. It was noisy, <laughs> I'm back. The Steadman, 
One of my favorite coats, like if you're someone who just needs a coat that's gonna work with pretty much everything, that's gonna work with casual, that's gonna work with dressed up, that's gonna work just in between, like the Stedman is the way to go, just because you can wear it oversized, you can wear it to work dressed up with like a nice dress or like some nice dress pants, or you can wear it with a pair of jeans and it's still really cool. That's one thing I'd recommend is if you're just looking for a coat that is good for everything, the Stedman's the way to go. Um, if you're someone who's just a little bit on the shorter side and you're like, hey, I loved the slouch, but it was just, I couldn't make it work, it was too long, try the Stedman. It's not the same material, you can get one in the camel hair material if you do want it to match that look. And yeah, it's just, it's a lot better because it's gonna be quite a bit shorter, it's gonna probably hit you in that same spot that you were looking for if you are a little too short for this slouch, so yeah, give that one a go. Okay, uh, moving on. We're getting dressy, we're getting sassy. Um, just kidding, but this is a phenomenal coat if you're someone who is a little bit more on the like dressier, kind of put together, elevated look kind of vibe. So we have, it's called the Connor coat. It is a really great coat if you're someone who needs a coat that is a little bit more elevated or if you're just someone who dresses in a manner that is more elevated. If you're a little less casual, a little bit more put together, feminine, that is what I would deem the Connor coat. It's one of our only belted coats that we have right now. And it's nice because it has these beautiful princess seams that kind of fall along the coat and they give you some shape. So for a lot of people, especially if you're curvy, like for example, let's say you have hips, you have boobs, but you don't really have much of a waist. Ugh, that is like the hardest combination to find a pea coat in because all pea coats are oversized, but then especially if you have hips, you don't want it to make you look wider. Uh, so that's one thing that I like that typically if you're someone with big hips, Connor coat is a really, really great option for you to try because it's really nice and fitted up top. It's got these beautiful princess seams, so it gives you some shape. And then you also have this nice like uh, belt that you can actually wrap around you and tie around you. But then at the same time, it like cinches and it gives you enough room for your hips. So one of my favorite coats also comes in a long version this year and a short version. Oh, Jesus Christ, my dad like in the background is like screaming. Anyways, it comes in a short version. So yeah, finishing off with the um, Connor coat. It's a phenomenal coat. It's really great dressed up. It's obviously really great dressed down. I think it's beautiful when it's left open. That's one thing that I think a lot of people forget is that you can truly leave that coat open. And then you kind of get this beautiful effect from that collar just like kind of opening up and giving you that like little circular look. Um, but yeah, and also they make sure that the buttons are just like really nice and pretty. So even if you leave it float open, it's great. The fit, true to size, honey. It fits very true to size. So if you're normally a small, get a small. If you're normally an extra small, get an extra small typically should do. One thing I also noticed if you try on the coat, your little like latch, is it called a latch? Whatever that you have that you stick your belt through, it is in line with your arm. So then that way if you do wear the coat without the actual belt, it's still not gonna look like, it's not gonna look stupid. It's not gonna look outrageous and stick out because your arm is typically gonna be covering it. So that is one thing to keep in mind when purchasing this coat. But yeah, I love both. I'm so happy that they came out with a couple different versions of it as well. That is that. That is the main few jackets I wanted to talk about in this video, um, just because these are the Aritzia core coats. These are the ones that you are gonna see year after year. We're always gonna have them. We're always gonna bring them back because the trend and the style, it's just so, losing my words at this point. But yeah, you're gonna find we're always gonna carry them because they're never gonna go to style. They're classic, they're proven, and each year we come up with different materials in different colors and they adjust the sizing and they adjust the fit and they just make it better. So, and they also find more sustainable ways to make our coats each year and make our pieces each year. So that is something I'm always looking forward to. Either way, I hope you guys found this little video helpful. I hope you found it informative and I will be back next week with a gonna be another coat video. It's gonna be another coat video. We're gonna do our last coat video of this season, which is gonna be our parkas, baby, parkas. We're gonna do a parkas video, so then that way, as it gets chilly, chilly, chilly in Winnipeg um, and other areas around Canada, you guys will have some options and you'll know what coats fit big, what coats fit small. Either way, if you guys have any questions, if you need any help with sizing, I am always happy to help. Leave a comment in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to see next, just let me know. I would love to make more videos all throughout the year. I'm going to be a little bit more consistent with it this year. So if you guys have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. 
Um, and yeah, I'd love to give you videos of what you'd like to see, because realistically, I'm doing this to share what I'm learning with you guys. So if there's anything you want me to learn or focus on, Sista will do it. And that, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe, because yeah, it just, it's so nice. I really appreciate it. And until next time.